Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. My name's Freya and here we discuss transgender issues of lots of different varieties. So the next question is, why does non-binary occur? Now this is gender fluid. This is where we have a mixture of masculine and female traits. It's where someone doesn't strongly identify as you know, either male or female. Their pronouns are them, their, they and yeah it's very common it's way more common um now and it's growing and growing and i think that's because it's becoming more acceptable to have um both of these uh you know presences in your life i have traits that are sometimes more masculine and i have traits that are sometimes more feminine i actually i, I identify as um female i don't even identify as trans but because I'm post-op trans female, I've been born as a male and changed my body through that process to female. That then means that it's deeply rooted in my, myself as part of my culture. So I would say that I'm just a tomboy girl, which is like, you know, I'm a bit tomboy. I prefer a rucksack over a handbag. I prefer trainers over a pair of high heels. And whereas when I was younger, I didn't know what I was. I was buying high heels, I was buying handbags. I was wearing strappy tops and, you know, cocktail dresses thinking, this is how I am, I'm really girly. And the truth is, I'm not. I'm a tomboy, I like skateboarding. I would probably jump out of a plane if I could. Um, I like snowboarding, I like lots of things that, I don't know, the media would probably say that you're a bit tomboyish. And that in itself is a slight gender fluid, a little bit. But I think the, 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 the various types of gender fluid is um, when you can have maybe facial hair and a dress or maybe you can have um i don't know uh like this basically where you combine the two um looks of a gender together and that just becomes non-binary um going back to the question why does non-binary occur now psychologists and doctors in hospital when i went there they said the reasons why it occurs is always trauma or it is caused by a triggered effect. Now, I don't know if that's true, but that's what they were looking for. And they wanted to know if you'd had any recent deaths in the family, if you experienced divorce, if you were a victim of abuse. And they were looking to work out, was your transition anything to do with a traumatic event? And could you possibly be uh, non-binary gender fluid that's exploring your, your sexuality and your gender as an escape from your psychological problems? And that's what they were looking for. Um, because obviously the answer is if you said, yes, I was nearly run over last week and I was you know, really traumatized by that experience, or if you said any, that's an example, if you said anything that was you know, traumatic, they would then question mark the, the valid nature of you, you progressing forward um, with a full gender transition to the other gender. So yeah, the psychologists, they do associate the gender fluidity and non-binary actions in, in the teenage years as triggered by traumatic events and um, that is the theory. And if you guys want to comment, leave suggestions, maybe you know you have more insight on it. Um, whereas I never uh, was processed as gender fluid. I was never identified as non-binary. So those are not experiences that I can explore. I've just gone from one gender to the other as a binary surgical trans. Um, but this video has gone over time and I hope you liked it. Um, please like and subscribe. Have a good day guys. See you. Bye.